We should be returning to Pandora this Christmas, despite the fact that Avatar 2 has taken its time to arrive. To put it nicely, the long-awaited sequel to James Cameron's Avatar was supposed to be released in 2014, but fans had to wait more than a decade. Insane, right? Stay tuned to find out all the new secrets and details about Avatar 2 and everything fans need to know. First, we have Avatar 2 new details and secrets leaked. James Cameron, the director, writer, and blockbuster brain behind Avatar began promising us more almost immediately after the film's release in the United States on December 16, 2009. It wasn't exactly surprising. Avatar made $1 billion in just 19 days, making it the fastest film to make that amount of money until Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 in 2011. Cameron, however, was not interested in making another sequel just for the purpose of it. He's been releasing teases about what's next for the franchise since 2010, a vision that involves not just one, but numerous movie sequels, as well as books and comics, and even a section of Disney's Animal Kingdom, which opened in 2017. Despite the rumors and the frenzy, there aren't too many details released, however. There are a few important ones fans need to know about. Next, the cameras are already rolling. The majority of what we'll see on screen in the four sequels will be motion capture video, which the team began recording in September 2017, while working on Avatar 2 and 3 back-to-back, -back, as well as parts of the four. Producer John Landau revealed in February 2019 at an IMX Q&A about the, his and Cameron's latest project, Alita Battle Angel, that the Avatar team had concluded the motion capture performances and would be starting on the live action portions in the spring. Despite the fact that the film's design was inspired by the vertical mountains of China's Zhengshui National Forest Park, Landau announced that the film will be shot in New Zealand. That pesky little live action component is going to cost me five months of my life across two movies, James Cameron said in an interview for an Avatar behind-the-scenes episode of the Empire podcast, implying that at least one actor could be running through a beautiful, dense forest in New Zealand as we speak. Now, when is the release date? To summarize a long story, Avatar 2 will ultimately be released on December 16, 2022, after being postponed from December 2021 owing to the ongoing global health crisis. The sequel began filming in 2017, but given the film's blend of live action and motion capture elements, it's understandable that it took so long. Cameron claimed in September 2020 that Avatar 2 was 100% complete, while Avatar 3 was roughly 95% complete. Given that there are three more films in the works, Cameron has been working on them all in recent years. He claimed in December 2021 that he had already shot some of Avatar 4 due to the young actors. Next, an old colleague League will be joining Avatar 2. Cameron isn't the only Titanic alum getting back into the sea for the Avatar sequels. In October 2017, it was confirmed that Kate Winslet, the Oscar-winning actress, had been cast as Ronal, a figure Cameron characterized as one of the sea people, the reef people. Winslet was extremely delighted to see the world they had built, according to him, and she demanded that she be permitted to handle all the water work herself. Given that Winslet's initial experience working with Cameron wasn't exactly pleasant sailing, this three-way reunion between Cameron, Winslet, and Water may raise a few eyebrows. There were times when I was actually scared of them, she recalled of the infamously tumultuous Titanic filming, recalling a time when she and co-star Leonardo DiCaprio were racing from a wave and her coat got hooked. The water hit her and she believed she may drown. Cameron ignored this, claiming he just misled her into believing she was in danger. Despite this, John Landau stated Winslet took to her avatar Avatar water scenes very well, and even learned how to hold her breath for seven minutes. Now that's pretty impressive. It'll be interesting to see how they integrate Winslet into the sequel, but no matter what role she plays, she always performs insanely well. We will get to see more of Pandora in the background of the characters. If you haven't yet bought into James Cameron's ambitious goal for this franchise, here's another element that will persuade you that he knows what he's doing. Cameron was planning to create a novel about the various characters' backstories according to John Landau of MTV in 2010. He stated he'd learn about Dr. Augenstein's time as a school teacher in the schoolhouse, as well as Jake's identical twin brother, Tommy. It's been reported that Avatar 2 will not be a novelization of the original film, but rather a standalone
standalone story with more information. Cameron further confirmed this, saying that if the film did well, he planned to write a novel, so you can expect that in the works. However, it appears that the book is halted as the film ambitions have stalled. Los Angeles Times announced in 2017 that publishers Penguin Random House had teamed up with Cameron to develop a wide range of books for both children and adults based on Avatar and the world of Pandora. According to the publishers, they will be released over the course of several years, beginning in the run-up to Avatar 2, which means we still have a long way to go. Now let's dive into the cast of Avatar 2. The original film's key actors, including Zoe Saldana, Sigourney Weaver, and Sam Worthington, are all signed to long-term deals, so they'll be back for the sequels. Stephen Lang, who played Colonel Miles Quadrich in the original film, is also back. Given that he did not make it out of the movie alive, it's unclear how the character will return, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Kate Winslet is reunited with filmmaker James Cameron after their legendary tragedy, Titanic, while Edie Falco from Nurse Jackie, Michelle Yao from Star Trek Discovery, and Cliff Curtis from The Walking Dead have all landed roles. Una Chaplin, Charlie's granddaughter, is also expected to feature in Avatar 2 and 3, while Vin Diesel, Fast and Furious, is set to appear in Avatar 3, a star-studded cast that'll no doubt put on a great performance. Why was the filming and production so delayed? Shooting on Avatar 2 was paused, as it did for most other films around the world, when the world was locked down, but because of New Zealand's strong response to the coronavirus, work has finally resumed. In May, producer John Landau told Radio New Zealand, we feel very secure because of the steps of the NZ government, and also the responsibilities the people took to actually suppress the virus there. On Monday, June 15th, 2021, the film resumed production, with Landau announcing that 400 New Zealanders will be employed to work on the project. Aside from the challenging technical aspects, Cameron's goal to have all four sequels written, ready to shoot before Avatar 2 began, delayed things down considerably. It took four years to write the scripts, he told Vanity Fair. You can call it a delay, but it's not really a delay because we've been clicking along flawlessly since we pulled the button to truly go make the movies. Until now. You know what they say, good things take time, and this is most definitely the cast for Avatar 2. All Avatar films will be standalone films. There's good news for anyone still reading who hasn't seen Avatar. You don't need to have seen Avatar to enjoy the sequels, according to Landau, because each one is written as a visual and emotional journey that comes to its own conclusions. Having the planet of Pandora to play with, according to Landau, means that each film has enough substance to continue its own storyline without relying on the others. Given the length of each picture and the $1 billion budget set aside for the following four, you have to believe they're hoping you'll pay to watch each sequel at least once. Cameron's used to working with large sums of money. Avatar was the most expensive film ever created, costing $425 million, $150 million of which was spent exclusively on marketing and promotion. After signing off on Fox's cheaper budget, Paramount executives paid a visit to the site and saw Cameron's gigantic water tank and detailed backdrops with elements like genuine wallpaper and threatened to sue the rival studio for fraud. Fortunately, the film grossed $2.2 billion, so all sides profited well, and Cameron is clearly hopeful that Avatars 2, 3, and 4, and 5 will follow in his footsteps. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the upcoming sequel to the insanely popular film Avatar and how there will be four films in total for the franchise. There is no doubt in anyone's mind that Avatar 2 will do incredibly well, mainly because it has been so highly anticipated as it's been over a decade since the producer and director revealed there would be, in fact, a sequel. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Will you be tuning in to the sequel? What did you think of the first film? Let us know. But if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.